The upcoming new year means plenty of new laws coming into effect in California, but one may affect your day to day the most. The change could have a sweeping effect on the fast food industry in the state. So we're making it tonight's ABC 7 deep dive at 11 to dig deeper on an issue impacting you. Tonight, ABC 7 News reporter J.R. Stone takes a closer look at how a new minimum wage law could shake up your next order. California workers at most fast food chains with more than 60 locations will make $20 an hour starting on April 1st, 2024. It's a new law. An economist that we talked with said it will affect you. Higher prices, <laughs> but that's not all. And most certainly there's going to have to be some price increase. It's definitely the case that prices will increase. Uh, what is surprising is they're not going to increase nearly as much as a lot of the uh, uh, commentators like to think. So the question is, how much more will you pay when you go to eat fast food in California? Well, we asked yeah, three I, economists, professors from elite universities across the country, the including Professor the Orly Ashenfelter at Princeton University, who studied minimum wage increases at McDonald's and published his study in 2021. If the wage goes up by 10%, the price goes up by 2%. It's not a projection. This is based on the facts. It's on the history. In other words, historically, when minimum wages go up, about 20% of the increase is passed through in prices. That's the way it's been for decades. McDonald's and Chipotle both announced earlier this year that prices will go up in California when this takes effect, but they haven't said by how much. Each food restaurant is different, but let's just say they're paying somebody $15.50 an hour. Now they're paying somebody $20, which is a 30% or nearly a 30% increase. Orly, who you just heard from there, says you'll likely pay an additional 6%. So that Big Mac that was going for $7 is now going for $7.42, or likely to go for $7.42. But that's just one of the changes we could see. Some estimates suggest that we could have up to 50,000 jobs lost in the state of California. You might have longer lines. You might have dirtier, dirty restaurants. There's even a study from Seattle when they raised the minimum wage. Uh, uh, you know, hygiene, hygiene violations increased. Um, uh, but, but consumer prices is also, is also one potential route. What makes the increase easier for businesses is that all the chains will likely raise their prices. And in some cases, consumers could look to smaller, unaffected restaurants. J.R. Stone, ABC7 News.